we went to our representatives and they really came through as champions for us. The Excelsior Wellness Center serves hundreds of vulnerable youth and their families every year. Now they're getting some much needed help from the state in their mission to provide behavioral health services to the Spokane community. State lawmakers approved more than $690,000 for Excelsior to upgrade its facilities. Krem 2's Lexa Block found out how important this money is to the nonprofit and the people that they serve. This is where the Excelsior Wellness Center youth play. They get away from the trauma, stress, and pressures outside its doors. But this old gym has seen better days by the looks of the rundown rubber floors and leaky roof. Can't play in this particular area because there's a leak in the roof. Excelsior Chief Development Officer Katara Johnson and her team invited state lawmakers to tour the facilities in hopes of landing some funding to make improvements. They realized that we were impacting quite a few people in our community and that the kids needed a better space to, to play and to exercise. State lawmakers granted the nonprofit $693,000. It was unbelievable news. I fell to my knees first and I was just like, thank you God, because I know how this is going to impact kids for generations to come. The money will be used to replace the gym's floor and roof, build a workshop to expand their vocational programs, and add a sport court to the integrated care center, which is currently under construction. Excelsior is mostly known for providing behavioral health and education programs to youth and families, but they've recently began to expand their services. So we, we just really want to make sure that we're meeting the needs and providing the best services that we can offer to our community members. Johnson says they plan to open the remodeled facilities to the public and of course continue to serve those who need them most. I'm really happy that our state is saying yes, we will support our communities most vulnerable and we will provide adequate services to them. In North Spokane, Alexa Block, Prime 2 News.